What's the crack, lads? We're back with a Kaka deep dive, ultimate player review of the Brazilian Wizard. He is one of the best players to use, one of my favourite players now to use in the last couple of days. He's just been unbelievable. Brilliant clips with him, he makes everything tick. Similar to Iniesta, but obviously one of the most unique cards in the game. Best skills, best build, and also we're going to be showing you how to get the best out of him with the tactics and the formation as well. So, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, boys, so we trained Kaka up. It's about 100,000 XP you can see here. It's, it's a lot of XP if you don't have a lot of XP, but genuinely when you're spinning for these guys, you have to have them as your focal point. You know, these are the fun factor in the game. The thing I like about Kaka most is the pockets of space he picks up. Really good passing ability for me to run out wide position, cutting in, or being able to shoot, and of course, picking up these passes here. It is really underrated in the game. You know, it's not just all about goals and assists. It's also creating space. And of course, he can still stun and pass. He can still have a lot of like really nice abilities out wide as well. Now, we were using Kaka in this formation with a double in attacking midfielder with Iniesta. We'll get to Iniesta in a different video, but this is the build we've gone for Kaka, right? 90 ball control, 97 dribbling, 91 tight possession with that 84 finishing, 90 speed, 97 acceleration, 91 kick and power. And the big one for me with this build and this Kaka build specifically is because of his height with 185 centimeters, we have to go with the 90 balance. I will put myself out there and say that this is probably the best build for Kaka. Um, I'll see, you know, I'll see a couple of different builds. I've had a couple of different questions thrown at me, but I think 14 into dexterity, it is the key for this card to unlock the runs and unlock his true potential and his player ID when he's on the ball. His amazing runs and the way he actually acts off the ball with the AI, we'll show you a clip at the end. We'll also have some really cool comparisons between other similar cards that I've been asked about as well. But these are the skills we've given him. We've given him flip flap. We're working towards giving him soul control to get the ball roll. He has ball roll in the trailer, but he doesn't have ball roll on his card. Acrobatic finishing away to pass. You'll see with this card here as well throughout this video. He does have some nice passing abilities when you give him way to pass. Okay, saw one already there. But it's just the, the pockets of space he picks up, boys. That's the big thing with Kaka. He's just a fun player to use, man. He's just a really fun player to use. You'll see a couple of clips here. But I do think that the 90 balance... It will kind of unlock his true ability when you get on the ball with that instant being able to brush off the physical contact, his player ID, getting these little pockets here where he's able to either shoot, draw a defender or dribble around the defender or pass off with a little triangle. He is a very fun player to use to create space. It's not always about getting an assist or a goal. It's about creating that space. Now, I did mention as well that we were going to look at comparisons. This is how he compares to Ronaldinho. We're going to show you maybe three different cards with a free version at the end as well um, with Bellingham. But Ronaldinho, you can see the comparison there. Tight possession, dribbling, ball control, very similar to Ronaldinho. 94 set piece taken, that's not really a big thing. 96 acceleration, 85 speed for Ronaldinho. Kak is going to be trumping him over that. My favorite player, I think, is Honus to use as that attack midfielder. Honus and Musiala, they can shoot, they can, you know, uh, block and intercept balls. Kaka is more of a flair player, I think, than, you know, a direct runner, I think, than a kind of a passer and stuff, hence why his passing ability is a little bit lower. But again, 97 acceleration each. He's going to be a blend of a lot of the, these different cards. This was one of my favorite cards to use way back when, the whole player Bellingham. And he compares that way as well for similar physique, uh, similar player ID, even though they're whole player versus creative player, play, playmaker. Kaka is extremely adept. And look at this run from Kaka. Look at the ground he covers here and the run he makes. That is impossible to be tracked from the AI. And it's just a nice little finish to, to kind of tie the game up for us. So that is it for me, lads. I'm not going to draw this out and waffle on and, and just make it something that it isn't. Kaka is a fantastic player. I think he gets bonus points for being a fun player. If you have similar players like Ronaldinho, Honus, Musiala, Bellingham, Barella, if you've got players that are able to forget about play style, if you have a player that is playing attack and midfielder, whether you're playing a double attack and midfielder or you're playing a single attack and midfielder to link midfield and forwards, if you are able to run out of defense, create space, have your player picking up pockets of space, Kaka is going to be a luxury, the same as all the players are. If you've got somebody already doing that job for you, Kaka should be, you know, a fun factor for you. But I definitely think he's one of the most unique cards in the game. His height, his physical contact, his he, he moves... He doesn't move like Rafael Leao. He moves like a really slick Musiala type card that is a brilliant dribbler, but also tall and strong, if that makes sense, because he's got the direct running. 
Usually you have to choose between either being a silky runner and a silky dribbler like Iniesta uh, or maybe the likes of San Krasen or somebody like that, Neymar, that are a little bit light on the ball or a direct runner like Rafa Leao where you're not going to be doing a lot of like intricate dribbling and left stick dribbling. It's going to be more like direct running. Kaka kind of blends both of them together. So for that reason, we do give him the 9 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be back with Iniesta's build and review after this one. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you then. Let me know if you spun for Kaka and if you're enjoying him. Peace.